everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. Well, it is a special time once again on the channel as we are reviewing this month's picks from Dossier. Now, if you're new to the channel, or if you've never heard of Dossier, Dossier is a company that essentially creates designer dupes of perfumes for a fraction of the cost while using all the same high quality ingredients. I absolutely love this. I am somebody who's really interested in fragrance. While I'm not an expert, I'm enjoying learning more about it. And it's not always accessible to have the real thing, but it's really, really fun to be able to experience so many great scents for a really great price. Dossier has been really wonderful too in sharing a discount code with me. They're eco-friendly. They have money back guarantee if you don't like your perfume, if you get it and it does doesn't fit because you're ordering online, you can send it back to them with no worries. Just a great company, super kind people, and a really great product. So we're gonna have a special guest jump in with me at the end to share a amazing fragrance that I'm super excited about. But for now, let's kick things off on our own with fragrance number one. So this is our dossier box. I save all of these because then if I'm traveling, I take my perfume in this box. You can see it keeps it really well protected so you don't have to worry about it getting smashed or crushed or exploding in your suitcase, which is so nice. <sighs> Already the smell of this one is amazing as I open the box. So scent number one is Citrus Neroli from Dossier. This is a dupe of the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. So the top notes on this are Neroli, Bergamot, Mandarin, and Lemon. The middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, and lavender, and the base notes are musks and amber. The concentration is 15%. I have never smelled the Neroli Portofino, but I do have some of the other Tom Ford scents and their dupes from Dossier, and I have to say they do an incredible job replicating these, uh, these scents in particular. So let's just see what we think. Ooh, oh my goodness, okay. This screams summer, as it should, right? With, with these notes. Oh, this is so fresh and so clean. The citrus is really punchy. Um, and even though there's not exactly a sunscreen scent in here, something about this reminds me of, of, of like a really clean, sunscreeny, summery smell. Right away, I'm getting that neroli, the lemon. Um, yeah, I can smell some of the, like just a really gentle jasmine and lavender. And I'm sure as it wears on, we'll get more of the musks and amber, but it does, even though it smells light and summery, it does feel still really like balanced and grounded and has some depth that I'm sure is coming from those musks and amber. Very clean, definitely unisex, not, um, I would not describe this as either hyper masculine or hyper feminine, just a good, solid, clean scent. Um, yeah, really nice. And as always, gorgeous bottle to have out on your vanity. My Dossier collection certainly is growing um, and I just love having them out. I think it looks really beautiful and it's nice to collect them because they're so much more affordable than regular designer fragrances. I'm so excited about this next one. So this next one for me is a repeat purchase. This is the Floral Lavender from Dossier. This is inspired by the YSL Libra or Libre. <laughs> um, as always, I'm doing my best with the pronunciations, but keep in mind, I am not a professional and I am just a Southern girl from the United States doing her best with these pronunciations. The top notes are Mandarin, Neroli, and Blackcurrant. The middle notes are Jasmine, Lavender, and Orange Blossom. And the base notes are Vanilla, Amber, and Musk. So Floral Lavender from Dossier is in my top five of all time since from there. Oh, here it is again. Oh, you guys. So I, I particularly love this because I wore this on a trip and every time I smell this scent, it takes me right back to wonderful memories of that time and that vacation. It just is so light, powdery, clean, feminine. The smell is just wonderful. And every time I wear this, I always get questions about what I'm wearing. People seem to really like it. Um, 
this one to me, it, it, I never have a bad reaction to this. It's never overpowering. It wears really, really well. And it does sweeten into some of that vanilla and amber as you wear it. So it just gets better with time. And I think transitions really well from day to night because, you know, the top notes are a little bit more floral, a little lighter for, you know, the day. And then it just sweetens as the day goes. It's, oh, it's just incredible. This is top five might be number one. And I'm gonna do a more in-depth video, but for those of you that are just really curious, my top five right now are the uh, the YSL uh, Floral Lavender Dupe. I love the Replica Jazz Club Dupe. I love the Chloe Dupe. And uh, there's one that's in this, so you'll know that that's the next one when we come to it. And then of course, I still love the dupe of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. So those are my top four. And then rounding out my top five is our next scent. Now this one from Dossier, sorry you guys, I picked up the wrong the wrong box. This one is the best seller currently on Dossier for women and that is the Ambery Saffron. Now this is a dupe of the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540 took the fragrance world by storm. I feel like last year it kind of, for me, at least in my experience, everybody was wearing Le Labo. And then all of a sudden when I was out, I wasn't smelling as much Le Labo anymore, but Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540 was absolutely everywhere. It always smells so good. It's such a distinct fragrance. It's so strong and sexy and it's just, you know it when you smell it. It's an iconic scent. So what are the notes that make up such an iconic scent? Because I can tell you this dupe is pretty much exact from the real Baccarat Rouge 540. The top notes are saffron and orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. So like I said, this rounds out my top five. Sometimes this is the number one for me. You guys, this is the strongest dossier scent that I have had. So one spray of this and you are good for the entire day. This has real staying power. If you're not careful, it can be too much. Um, uh, it's it Like I said, it's exact if you know what the Baccarat Rouge 540 smells like. If you're not familiar with this scent, there's there's this really nice sweetness that's not overly sweet or sugary. It's a really, um, it's a warm kind of sweetness that then melts away into more of that like balsamy amber scent. The saffron in there is very distinct. It's just, it's so nice. And every time I wear this, I have somebody inevitably come up to me and be like, oh, are you wearing Baccarat Rouge 540? And I just have to be like, I'm actually wearing the dupe. Um, it's just a delicious scent. It's like, it's just very complex. And I wish I had a better nose to be able to relate to you how delicious this is. But if you know Baccarat Rouge 540 and you love it, but sometimes the price tag may be a little much for you, this is a wonderful, wonderful alternative. And if you're somebody who's looking for just an all around great scent, I've got to recommend this one to you. Like I said, it's my top five and it's so great. Okay, now we're gonna jump forward in time a little bit and bring in a special guest. Okay, all right, gang, we have my brother Hunter here. And you're back as a special guest. Hunter, people loved when you were on here last time reviewing some of the fragrances for men and you got another one. Yeah, what's up, Al? Thanks for having me back on the channel. I'm always happy to interact with everybody on here. Love you guys. Always happy to be on Alleyways. Well, and we yeah. all love you. Me and the whole fam love you so much. And you just make every video better that you're part of. Oh, thanks, Al. You make me blush. But <laughs> I got this new dossier fragrance here that Ali gave me for Christmas. And I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys about this one because so far it's been my favorite one. Uh, this one is the Musky Oak Moss which is a dupe of the Creed Aventus. Uh, and it's top notes, apple, pineapple, bergamot, middle notes, rose, birch leaf, patchouli, and base notes of musk, oak moss, and amber. And right now, with it being wintertime, this has been my favorite fragrance. I, this is why I'm going back. It, I, I think- It sounds like there's a lot going on there. Like, yeah. 
such a complex flavor or scent. Yeah, I, I would say that it's like it's herbal, it's earthy, but it's super approachable and like pleasant. It's not okay. overpowering, but it does project. So if you like a cologne that projects, I would say that this is a good one to go with. But it's not, again, it's not like overpowering or offensive. It's a really, really nice fragrance and I'm digging it. I'm so happy that you like it. We'll have yeah. to keep getting you to the review the men's fragrances. One thing I wanted to ask you is, how do you feel like it lasts? Like it's, it's wear time. Does it last the whole day or night? Yeah, this one, it's staying power is probably the best of the dossier fragrances i've tried which is saying something because they they really do stay like mm -hmm. if you spray it on your clothes or your skin you notice the fragrance throughout the day so i would say staying power wise it's very solid yay yay yeah. well, i'm so happy you love it and i yeah you guys hunter has been so patient because i've recorded this once and it didn't work and then there's been a bunch of like we usually see each other on the weekends because we work during the week and so many weekends i'm like hey bring the dossier over to mom and dad's and, and we'll record and then like i'll forget my makeup or I'll, you know i don't have my camera so hunter thank you for coming back on the channel and for being so gracious we love you so much no hey i'm happy to do it like i said really stoked to interact with all you guys again and also talk about fragrances because this one's really cool and i'm excited for you guys to try it too We'll see what we get going for next month. Hey, thanks for the Christmas gift, by the way. This was a great Christmas <laughs> Welcome. gift. Welcome. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. All right. Hey fam, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. A special thank you to Hunter for being such a good sport and being here. As always, I do have a discount with Dossier that you can use. I'll have it somewhere in the video and in the description box down below. I don't make money off of that. They just do it to be nice, which makes me really happy. I love helping you guys out if you can. Um, yeah, let me know which scent you want me to review next. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Special thank you as always to my live chat crew. I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.